Hello and welcome to Prime News with me Karen. Let's take a look at the headlines first. In a tragic incident, three residents from Lotoli and one from Agasai died after the car falls into Zuari River. Nehru villagers threaten to dismantle mobile tower if Airtel company does not act on the same. Assistant Solicitor General of India Pravin Faldesai says High Court concern about rampant use of LED lights while fishing. Now the news in detail. In a tragic incident, four were killed after the car skid off the Zuari Bridge and plunged into the Zuari River on early morning of Thursday. The incident occurred when all the occupants of the car were returning to drop their friend Austin Fernandez at Agasai after celebrating birthday of their friend from Vasco. The name of the deceased given as Henry Araujo, Priscilla de Cruz and Alvin Araujo, residents of Lotoli and Austin Fernandez from Agasai. After the mishap, fire brigade personnel with help of Navy divers retrieved the vehicle from the river along with four bodies. Nitin Riker, director of fire and emergency services, who visited on the spot, informed that the fire person from Vedna started search operation along with Navy divers and retrieved the vehicle wherein they found four bodies including three gents and one lady. और तो एक दावा तुम्हें पाया यानी ब्रेक मार पाया you see the brake marks of that vehicle which has come here. And he also a good jago paya, jaja gar gadiyo slow jata at all point of time. But the gadi paya thay slow jata. So for dog, the gap of that bridge has been like this for nearly two weeks. Last time I was a driver, I was like, I have to go to the accident. I have to go to the accident. I have to go to the accident. I have to go to the and probably maybe that car was speeding but no scope to avoid banging into that car it has turned and swirled and fallen into the river PWD Nidla PWD Minister Sarkar Nidla he had this one you have to do this 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 I know it's not time to politicize this issue, but it's high time government wakes up. Officer from Verna oh. Fire Station, okay. along with his team, he went to the spot. There is such an incident has taken place here, 
and immediately they started a searching operation with the help of boat and rescue boat and other uh, divers. Then uh, there after, after some time uh, morning at around uh, 8 o'clock we, uh, we call for uh, divers from the Navy also. They also joined with us and with the joint uh, thing, search operation we have started jointly and uh, finally at around 1 o'clock today we retrieved the body. The total uh, three gangs were there and one lady was there. For Prime Video Journalist, Sean Vasco. Nearer villages blocked the road demanding immediate removal of mobile tower erected by Airtel in the market area without taking them into confidence, otherwise threatened to make law into their own hands by dismantling the tower from the spot. Speaking to media, local Bapa Kurgaonkar informed that the contractor misguided villagers by saying that borewell being dug, then toilet and high must being put on the spot and suddenly erected mobile tower, which they opposed because of its side effect on health of residents. Local Saligao MLA Kedar Naik demanded to dismantle this tower as soon as possible, as citizens does not want tower in their village. <laughs> पढ़े मनाले बोर मानवतले हम चे स्वतंत्र सैनिक आजी के दरे मानव सुत्ता अच्छी हैं हम का कहीं खबर नहीं आतुत ना है जीवन हम चुपाए ना ना कानून भी नोट जन बसा क्यों आ रहा चुत आप जरा साम लेट लोगे करता क्या का सुत्ता खबर नहीं जना रसाम लेकर डब बंद क्या लो बंद कर लेते चंदर एक क्लेन ही Tower मुझे ना बढ़े हम का मानसिक खटाल है जिधर अंगा 20 मीटर आज जन स्कूल हैं ये 10 मीटर आज जन जो मार्केट ये सब नहीं घरा उन लोगों कानूने हिस्ट्री डाली हम चे एक किधर तो निकाले हम किधर कानूने कामनवाड़ मुट्ठा दही पर्चुन भी चुनौती आने दीजिए टावर बसे ले प्राइवेट टेनर प्राइवेट बसे ले या इतनों रेडियम सब कितने हैं इधर करें ये कला कौन है हमफोल मोड़न आमी गांव का रहने पूर्ण मिली का रहने ये का ओपोस के लाहा गांव वाले सभी बड़े बड़े लोग क्यों क्लियर एक मैसेज दे रहे हैं कल जो टावर वालों पेंसिल को इंजीनियर आए लो इनका मैं एक उस क्वेश्चन के लिए तुम्हीं टावर ग टावर न टावर नस्ताना हम चाहिए लाम दो तोड़ डाले इंजीनियर डाले एडवोकेट डाले शिकोर 
त्यांना आमचं या सगळ्या बायलांचं सगळ्या गावच अगदर विरोध आहा त्यावर आहात त्यांना त्यांनी बेग्यांच्या बेग्यानं आयच्या आयच का टावर काढत नाका आमका टावर नाका आयन दोन हजारच नाव सरपंच आली त्यांना आय टावर घालून घेऊन आप दर्याच्या थंड बांधलेली आहा सगळी फॉर प्राइम व्हिडिओ जर्नलिस्ट रेणुका तलगावकर मापसा High Court Director Fisheries Department and Coastal Police to conduct inspection of fishing trawlers before fishing season starts to check whether trawlers are carrying equipments to use LED lights while fishing and bull trawling. The High Court direction came after the Goa Foundation filed a public interest petition on rampant use of LED lights while fishing which were banned by the state as well as the center government due to depletion of fish sources. Speaking to media Norma Alvarez lawyer of Petitioner Goa Foundation informed that the state government filed an affidavit stating that they will carry out inspection and hold meeting with concerned department to come out with solution to stop bull trawling the court has posted the matter for further hearing on September 12th this is a public interest petition which was filed because of the rampant use of LED lights when conducting fishing now led lights are banned by a state government as well as by the central government there are orders which are banning the use of led lights because these attract large quantities of fish and this leads to depletion of fish sources there was an earlier petition filed in 2020 by some party but it had not come up as yet uh, however Uh, we asked for inspection to be done of all the boats which are going out for fishing before the fishing starts which is on 1st august because the boats which have generators are using the generators for purpose of led lights otherwise the boats don't need to have generators since the motors are equipped with alternators to run Uh, normal lights and normal uh, um, fishing gear and so on uh, the uh, the central the state government filed an affidavit uh, wherein they have uh, stated that uh, they are carrying out inspections um, they have asked their officers they are looking around the central government also said that they are doing inspections on the high seas but the fact remains that the petitioner says that there are at least 400 50% of the 800 odd boats which go fishing which are using led lights so the court has taken this very seriously because of depletion of our fish reserves and the court has directed that before the boats go out there will be a proper inspection carried out both by the department of fisheries and by the coastal police both of them to see that there is no equipment which can lead to the use of led lights while fishing also bull trawling or pair trawling uh, all this should not happen there was one old petition also of 2018 which was filed there was some orders passed by the court earlier and uh, we had filed affidavits we are appearing for uh, uh, indian coast guard we had filed uh, affidavit saying that we are monitoring the issue or wherever we find there are uh, bull trolling or uh, pair trolling or led fishing and all we advise them uh, certain actions are taken by goa coastal police also and fisheries department also today a new petition is filed and that petition came to be tagged with the previous petition and both were taken up but today in the morning it came up and then uh, 2:30 they said it will be taken up uh, previous affidavits which were filed were read over uh, and uh, explained to the court uh, stating that whatever actions at that time we had taken uh, its issue is the same led fishing the court is also concern about uh, uh, large scale uh, fishing in such a manner by using these techniques of led fishing and bull trolling etc uh, which uh, basically is detrimental for future generations because fish will extinct by this kind of a fishing so that was the issue uh, that was discussed today in the court for prime reporter tukaram marathe panji now let's take a short break this is info media prime slot network
नमस्कार आणि योकार तुमका सगळ्या The new candidate. Prime. Your voice, your channel. Welcome back. Senior citizen Celine Fernandez, resident of Shell Pedolier Mapsa, urged the deputy collector to cut mango and jackfruit trees belonging to their neighbor, the Pedniker, which were posing danger to a house and also creating nuisance by falling off rotten jackfruits and mangoes inside her premises, besides polluting well, which was used by them for drinking. Speaking to Prime TV, Selin Fernandez informed that although the deputy collector passed an order in May to cut trees, but house owner failed to obey the order and wanted now deputy collector to act on their own order. For a neighbor to cut the mango tree and the jackfruit tree, which is over our house, but they failed to comply with the instructions of the deputy collector. Then, as per the preservation of the trees and it is uh, said that if the owner doesn't if the owner doesn't cut the tree then the deputy collector must take action to remove it for its removal the neighbors enter our property and cut our trees by arranging many workers when we are not there in the house so they can very well cut their own trees and moreover the trees the jackfruit tree and the mango tree which is bearing fruits of this they don't consume it it is only getting rotten and falling on our trees and it is creating a nuisance for us with the dirty smell of rot and plus all the beams of our house are eaten by the white ants by the collection of dirt and the litter of their leaves Moreover, our well is very close by to the trees and all the trees leaves are falling on in the well and contaminating our water which we consume for drinking. I request the deputy collector to kindly tell the neighbors to cut the trees because they have got a lot of workers. For Prime Video Journalist, Renuka Talgaukar, Mapsa. Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Savan stated that the sugar industry played a major role in saving foreign exchange on import of petroleum products as the industry already served 10% of producing ethanol from sugar canes. Savan was speaking after inaugurating the 80th Annual Convention and International Sugar Expo at Shama Prasad Stadium, Bambulim on Thursday. Addressing farmers and technocrats, Savan showered praises on them for developing technologies and research in sugar industry, particularly in renewable in energy, wherein 41,000 crores being contributed to the exchequer. Today, in this convention, I think that farmers have joined, but with them, the technocrats, the engineers, one who is doing they are developing the technology in the sugar industries. I इस जो दो दिन के convention में sugar grower के साथ साथ में इस technology में जो जो development हुआ है इनका भी मैं जो जो आज सभी को जो award मिले यानी sugar factories को award मिले sugar research में जो काम कर रहे उनको award मिले जो gold medals मिले उनको award मिले फिर से एक बार उनका मैं बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन करता हूँ और आप लोगों को उनका अब आने सभी सभी से मैं अभिनंदन की रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ इस जो एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी में जो लोग आप काम कर रहे हैं रिसर्च में शुगर टेक्नोलॉजी में जो लोग आप काम कर रहे हैं सही में मुझे लगता है कि पूरे साल भर में इस तरह के कन्वेंशन द पेपर सबमिशन रिसर्च में जो काम कर रहे हैं उनका मैं बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन करता हूँ जैसे दीदी ने कहा कि हम आ, इम्पोर्टर से एक्सपोर्टर बन गए डेट इज नॉट ओनली डेट हम तो शुगर इंडस्ट्री में इम्पोर्टर से एक्सपोर्टर तो बन गए ही आप लोगों का कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन 
विच इज इन रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी में भी है द टेन परसेंट ऑफ द इथेनॉल विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द शुगर इंडस्ट्री इसलिए भी आप लोगों का मैं बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन करता हूं और इससे आगे मुझे लगता है जो रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी में अप्रोक्सीमेटली द फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड ऑफ द क्रोड्स ऑफ रुपीज फॉर द एक्सचेकर्स के लिए आप जो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट कर रहे हैं इथेनॉल में और ज्यादा आप कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हैं नॉट ओनली इन द शुगर इंडस्ट्रीज में तो डे बाय डे इसमें जो रिसर्च हो रहा है सो so, हम जो ऑयल इंडस्ट्री में हंड्रेड परसेंट जो इम्पोर्ट पे डिपेंड थे बिकॉज ऑफ द शुगर केन विच इज द टेन परसेंट यू आर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग इन द इथेनॉल हमारे मुझे लगता है कि हम भी इसका जो इम्पोर्ट हो रहा है वो रिड्यूस करके यानी सेल्फ सस्टेन इस इंडस्ट्री में भी हो जाएगा इसमें मुझे लगता है कि शुगर इंडस्ट्री विल प्ले द मेजर रोल और जिस तरह से ये रिसर्च चल रहा है तो डेफिनेटली इससे आगे द रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी हो या शुगर केन में हो कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा एंड डिफरेंट रिसर्च आप लोगों से एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं मुझे लगता है कि इस इंडस्ट्रीज में जो आप सभी मिलके फार्म मैकेनिज्म हो शुगर क्वालिटी इंप्रूवमेंट हो वाटर कंजर्वेशन हो या द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द बाय प्रोडक्ट द कैपिटल गुड इंडस्ट्रीज इस सभी में आप सभी लोग मिल ढेर सारे रिसर्च सबमिट करेंगे मुझे उम्मीद है जिस तरह से न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी और न्यू द यंग जनरेशन हैव इन्वॉल्व इन दिस इंडस्ट्री आगे आने वाले इस इंडस्ट्री के लिए बहुत अच्छे दिन आने वाले हैं ये मैं डेफिनेटली कह सकता हूँ ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट प्राइम पेरने पुलिस स्टेशन अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ डेप्यूटी सुप्रिंटेंडेंट ऑफ पुलिस सिद्धार्थ शिरोडकर कंडक्टेड फ्लैग मार्च ड्यू टू पंचायत इलेक्शन स्लेटेड ऑन ऑगस्ट टेंथ इन द स्टेट स्पीकिंग टू मीडिया डी वाई एस पी सिद्धांत शिरोडकर इन्फॉर्म दैट फ्लैग मार्च हैज बीन कंडक्टेड टू इम्प्रेस अपॉन सिटीजन दैट द पुलिस विल नॉट टॉलरेट इलीगल एक्टिविटीज एज मॉडल कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट फॉर पंचायत इलेक्शन ऑलरेडी कम इन टू फोर्स रे बिसाइड्स ब्रीफिंग बार एंड होल सेल ओनर्स नॉट गेट इन्वॉल्व इन सेलिंग ऑफ लिकर एंड ऑल्सो नॉट टू वायलेट टाइमिंग्स बाय रिस्पेक्टिव मैजिस्ट्रेट्स some kind of a call like the black mark to impress upon the people that we will not tolerate any uh, illegal act model code of conduct is in force we have also briefed the bar owners and the wholesalers not to get involved in selling alcohol to people who will use it for election purposes and also not to violate the timings given by the respected district magistrate सर टाइमिंग के लिए द नोटिफिकेशन इज इश्यूड एंड वी हैव एक्सप्लेन द नोटिफिकेशन टू दैट आल्सो वी हैव गॉन एंड ब्रीफ द सम शॉप ओनर्स वी हैव चेक स्क्रैप यार्ड वी हैव गॉन एंड विजिटेड सर्टेन रेस्टोरेंट्स एंड वी हैव विजिटेड सर्टेन पर्सन हु आर लाइकली टू क्रिएट लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इश्यूज ड्यूरिंग द इलेक्शन एंड दे हैव बीन वॉन्ट एंड एक्सप्लेन द रिपरकशन सो इन पैरनेम एंड मांद्रे we have panchayat elections in 10 panchayats and we are not going to allow any untoward incident to happen in our area whoever and whatsoever means kind of procession this operation will be conducted in surprise way until the elections are concluded by pi pernem dataram gaon and pi mopa mahesh ketar we have also visited mopa area also and uh, near to uh, vital point when we have uh, deployed pickets and laka bandis to control any incident bureau report prime now let's take a short break this is info media prime slot network karan yo kar tumka sagla Prime News Room. Siti Nisha. The new candidate. Prime. Your voice, your channel. Welcome back. 
Saligaon MLA Kedar Naik has stated that his mother and four other members from his panel have been elected unopposed in the race Magus Panchayat. Speaking to media, Naik said the five punch members elected unopposed are Xavier Ribeiro, Ward No. 1, Umesh Maikar, Ward No. 3, Subhash Pednikar, Ward No. 4, Sangeeta Bosley, Ward 9 and Nena Naik, Ward No. 10 and claimed that this is the reward that people have given him for the development work he has undertaken in Race Magus Panchayat during his tenure as Sarpanch. Kedar Naik also announced that Shishmita Pednekar, a candidate contesting from Ward No. 2, will become Sarpanch of Race Magus Panchayat if elected and confident that his panels would get elected in the other five panchayats of Nerul, Pilenmara, Saligaon, Sangolda and Giri in Saligaon constituency. <laughs> Panjayat members unopposed Jikun Aida. Uh, Sangeeta, uh, uh, Naina Naik, uh, Subhash Pendekar, Sagara Gadatumi, Zavir Bab, and Umesh. Yes, Sagar Pans Zana unopposed Ami Ya Penalaja, Newton Alia. Sagar Kun important Sangbaja Midla Magaisto, record as Salo Goyan Magaista, Yabun Subedan, unopposed for Newton Pecha Panjayan Arunas. Important Gaza Luke cannot unopposed. General Lokanji Kama Barabishan Zaida Asta, Lokanje J. Kitagi issues Asta, the Sage Panchayat members for Eda, Tenas Magaista, Loka, Ek Vishwas Asta, Anito Vishwas, Tenjani Aizam Chapanology, Dakela. How Sangu Sutta, Pudia the only election of Jipatus, Pats Panchayat member. If you let Pats Jay members tell it, Yami Pazanje, Pazui, Amila is on a tele. Ani Ao Anek Anga Ek Elanui Garda declare Garda Ki Amcha Yares Mogus Panjati fully serpent Srimati Sushmita Pendegar Yastari Sushmita Pendegar E ward number two one represent Garda Ani Ao Anek Katrin Sanda Kiti ninety percent vote Sandare Awanekan me Udas Dara ninety percent vote lead yon the election dictatorship Ani Bob Subhash Pendekar, then the panel, and he hung full of pants for the time. They didn't Zata declare, come, race Mogus for Dalan Purun the Gadale, the Shays would let a Pazui Panjaitin, you unchecked Penala, sir. The Pazui Panjaitin, Pazui Panjaitin, which you can at lay. Panjait, you have to reserve for my love, sir. But then you have to declare you were the Sushita Pendekar, you have to raise Mogus Panjaiti, fully serpent the belief. Because experience you as a teenager, Pili, Panzorda, serpent, Mukariago, Samaila, sir. Naina Naik said that she got elected unopposed mainly because of his son and MLA Kedar Naik and further said that she will fulfill her desire to provide service to residents of her ward as a punch member. <laughs> ते Bureau report prime. MGP leader Ketan Batikar stated that the Ponda residents won't allow hot mixing of roads which were in bad condition after the panchayat elections. Speaking to media, Ketan Batikar said that all the chief minister promised in the assembly that the government will act on contractors for bad condition of roads and if contractor starts hot mixing of road after the Diwali, then they will protest the same and tell contractor to carry out the work after completion of ongoing work of sewage project in the city. But at this moment, Sonia, Rostena, and Tajaram, so you should say, Uta, to me at the Shanti Nagar Puret, there are Rostos or Novo Kello, the Sampurna Vartala, and to Sosha Kradala, and Muni sleeps down, put up there and die idea of Spitan Boshata, he put his cities Ali as a Stenji. So Tajarani inquiries out in a semi already a Prosno Manilasa. 
सो ताजे वापर उलो शकना कारण एसेंब्ली ने रस्त्या स्कैमा इशू वो मानिल्लो सीएम संगला कि आपूर्ण पर खरी घोन कॉन्ट्रेक्टर धरते सो पासान नर आता को रस्ते घूचना क्या पंचायत चालू जी कि एक डामी बोर्ड ये तो घूचना पासान नर एक चौथ दिवा जाऊन रस्तो जो घट्रेक्टर नाल फोड़ा वोले संगताले कि वो घता तो परमनंट डोर ना एक सीवरेजी काम के रस्ते घूम वचू ना सो दिस तीन सोटवीयर को For Prime Media journalist Sanjay Naik Ponda. Before we wrap up, let's recap the headlines once again. In a tragic incident, three residents of Lotoli and one from Agasai died after the car falls into Zwari River. Nehru villagers threaten to dismantle mobile tower if Airtel company does not act on the same. Assistant Solicitor General of India Pravin Faldesai says high court concern about rampant use of LED lights while fishing. Give us your feedback about this newscast. Mail us at newsprimego at gmail dot com or WhatsApp us on nine six three seven nine six nine two four four. Well, that's all for the news now. Thanks for watching Prime. Take care and goodbye.